live from Nashville, Tennessee, it's theCUBE. Covering Commvault Go 2018. Brought to you by Commvault. Welcome back to Nashville, Tennessee. You're watching theCUBE at Commvault Go. I'm Stu Miniman with my co-host Keith Townsend. Happy to welcome to the program Lance Shaw, who's the Director of Solutions Marketing at Commvault. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much, glad to be here. All right, so we've been having a great day here. We're talking to some of your partners, talking to some of your customers. Uh, solutions marketing, of course, everything's a solution these of course, days. That's of what course. we're looking for. <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit about your background and what you do at Comcast. Absolutely, right? So uh, I came from a product management and a product marketing background, and one of the things that we're really focused on here at this show, what of course is all about, is customers and what their stories are, and frankly, how we can improve our products and our solutions to better meet the needs of the customers, right? That's what it, ultimately what it all comes down to. And and uh, so, you know, that's, that's why we're here, that's the whole reason for the show. I think uh, what's, what's been interesting so far at this show uh, um, has been uh, the focus on not only just cloud utilization, but the fact that customers are having to deal with multiple clouds. Uh, and the fact that, uh, and why they have to do that. And there's a variety of reasons uh, that drive people to say, well, you know, maybe five years ago, you would have said, are you using the cloud? Yeah, I've got one cloud provider, but now I've got Lots. Yeah, and Lance, uh, I'd love to hear what you're hearing from customers, because one of the things you talk to customers, and like, oh, they have a multi-cloud strategy. And when you dig in, first of all, every customer has a totally different environment. Right. And it reminds me, I spent the last like two decades trying to help customers get out of their silos. And in some ways, I'm a little worried that we've just created a whole bunch of new silos that just don't <laughs> happen to live in my data center, and we called it multi-cloud. Right. Um, because the strategy is, oh well, I did this application for here, and then oh, there's this service over here that I needed, and then I sassified a bunch of stuff. So tell me we've got it all figured out. Customers, they have a good strategy, they're really sharp as to where they're going, and the future is bright. Absolutely. Now the reality of that is <laughs> that in fact, you're absolutely right. Uh, unwittingly or unknowingly, we've gone back to a, a path of history repeating itself where I'm creating new silos of information and data. So you're absolutely right. Organizations start out with a point solution for a particular application uh, or you know, a particular data set or they acquired a company and so they brought in this new thing and pretty soon I have no idea what I've got in the Singapore office versus the London office versus New York. Right, so, uh, and how do I reconcile that and bring it back together? So I've got that same old problem that if you've been around in the industry for a few years, we saw you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I've got to bring my silos of information together. Uh, and so, yeah, you're right, it's, an, it's suddenly a new uh, the same old challenge all over again. Right, so, uh, and that's why it's become a focus area, because I suddenly have uh, fragmented, you know, disconnected, application and, and data silos. So uh, and that's really where Commvault, turns out, can really help because sometimes it's a matter of consolidation. You know what, I need to get down from three locations to two or four to one or whatever the case may be, some sort of consolidation. Uh, and usually there's some sort of cost savings involved there. And, uh, or it's, you know, I've, I've, I've got these multiple solutions that are out there and I've, I've I've got no control and I have no visibility and I know I'm exposed, so I've got a risk factor now that I didn't have before. Uh, so when you start to blend all of those together, uh, you're absolutely right, it's, 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 the, it's the same old story again, right? Uh, so industry versus vertical versus use case, you've given us a couple of different use cases, reducing costs, consolidation, uh, even multi-cloud in itself is a use case. But if you're an enterprise software company, if you're an enterprise IT company, you're challenged as you talk to different industries about specific solutions. You got to tailor solutions to industries. Talk about some of the industries that Commvault has come to solve specific problems for. Right, well I think uh, you know, one of, one of, there's a lot, to be honest, right? Because uh, every, every company faces those set of challenges. I think where it gets really interesting is in highly regulated industries, right? So you think about uh, you know, biopharmaceuticals, you think about financial services, uh, and, or, and certainly uh, even in the government space, in the federal space. Uh, and they have a whole set of unique challenges there because you're dealing with top secret clouds and you're dealing with you know, some special concerns there. Um, I think where it gets uh, of particular interest is when I've got all those fragmented or dis disconnected silos is that I need to address my compliance concerns. I need to understand the data for more than just is it protected and could I recover it in a specific amount of time. I actually need to be able to show that I have it and prove that what I've got and be able to address specific industry regulations that are un unique to my particular industry. So uh, that's where we start to see very specific 
um, use cases that are kind of get down from the generic from the generic or the general down to the very specific. How do I manage this data and how do I understand what I have? Um, and and then of course you get into you know can you can you prove what you've got? Can you go out and retrieve it? And there's all sort of you know regulations along that that I've got to adhere to. Um, but that can be addressed once I have that full index and understanding what my environment's like. Now I can go out and 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 locate that information. Um, I can retrieve it when I need to, uh, and 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 actually open it up from a from a persona-based access perspective. Let specific people in an organization have access just to the limited data sets that they need. Right, so that comes, that comes into play a lot, especially, for example, every organization, right? You've got uh, database admins, you've got, you've got you know, critical tier zero, tier zero applications that you need to manage. Uh, it's your CRM system, it's your supply chain management system. If it goes down, you know, people freak out, right? So, uh, and, and I want to be able to provide you know, self-service access to information for those people. Um, so I've got a well-managed understanding of my environment, but then I'm able to dole out access uh, to the individuals that need it when they need it, and they don't have to come, you know, ask us or ask IT or ask anybody else, you know, for that information. Yeah, Lance, as we as we watch the custom, custom companies really understand that data is very valuable, we have a transition that's going on. <laughs> Traditional customer for Commvault, you're talking about things like RPO and RTO and the like, and you're, you know, you, you've got the admins of the world trying to figure out how they do their jobs and things like, okay, backup windows of the past versus recovery and all those moving pieces, as opposed to today, you talk about the value of data. These are board level discussions. You've got right. the C suite that you're working with. Uh, we, we, we talked to a few of your teams about, well, you, you've got the top down and the bottom up. H how are you helping them? What, what conversations are you having? They are entirely them? different yeah. conversations. Right, um, IT is serving the business, as we all know. Right, um, you know, maybe a bit cliche. Sorry. Well, hopefully, if but they're doing their job it, right, they're right. responding to <laughs> and actually. Doing Why am what I they here? Need. Oh, that's right, to serve the business. Oh, yeah, let's try that. So anyway, there's you know there, there's that delivery of data, uh, but you're absolutely right. The utilization of data and how it's consumed and and the understanding that I can get from it, that is an entirely different conversation. And you're right, it is um, out of there's a, it's well, it's a business unit. Discussion. It's uh, you know it's a line of business discussion at the very least, and it's probably a senior executive discussion because in, with that additional visibility, I am then able to make much better, at least theoretically, better business decisions, and and because I've got more information to draw from. So you're right in, in terms of the conversation. Uh, you're not we're not talking about strictly data protection. It's like yes, when you when your data is understood. Here's what else you can do with it. And then you got to tailor that to the specific industry, specific vertical, um, you know, we're in, in, you know, more, a little more specific to that particular conversation. So Lance, the, give us a feel for that conversation that's happening here at Convault Go. 2,000 people, over 150 sessions, education focus event, and there's different personas. I, I like to focus on that executive persona a little bit. I got you in front of the, uh, the SVP of some group, the CDO. What's the Commvault story? Why, why Commvault over any other data protection company? I like to, I like to think of it as uh, the proverbial killing two birds with one stone, right? So, is my data growing? Oh yeah, right? You're never going to hear someone say, you know, data is shrinking, I have less to worry about. I, I mean, I've been in the industry a couple years now, give or take, and, and it's just never going to happen, right? Um, and, you know, the, 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 so you don't have to worry about, with that in mind, uh, the, the, the need to be able to have the visibility is continue to increase. So you see the rise of a chief data officer, and what are they concerned about? Um, they're concerned about you know, utilizing data in ways that they were previously, you know, never able to do. Um, and so when we have those conversations, it's one of, if I'm going to kill two birds with one stone, I'm going to be able to not only protect my data, but I'm going to give you additional visibility that you didn't have before. Because I'm providing you visibility into all of that secondary data and application protection, and I'm allowing you to be ultimately more flexible. Because now you're able to actually move data where you need it and expand your data center in ways that you previously could not. So I want to move from one cloud to the other, no problem, I can do that. Uh, I want to uh, finally move, finally get off of tape and do, you know, consolidate my environments and move either to on-premises environment or to the cloud, 
not a problem. I can come back, we see customers that are coming back to on-premises from cloud in some cases, just for particular use cases. Uh, so the, so the, the, the conversations that we have with a, with a, a CDO, we'll just stick with the CDO as an example, um, are around better utilization of the data um, and better risk mitigation around that data. Right, so I've had a number of conversations related to that where um, we're concerned about not, you know, we, everybody talks about ransomware, but in general attacks on the business, and it's not if, it's when, so how do I make sure that I can keep my business up and running? Um, and so it's that, that, that broader perspective that you have around how I manage data and how I, and how I, and how I uh, deliver it to the business, that's what they care about, right? It's, it's great that you protect it, by the way, that's sort of important too, but um, you know, what I can do with it and how I deliver it to my lines of business, that's, that's where the interest starts to lie in a CDO level conversation. Yeah, Lance, one of the things, everybody loves coming to a show like this, you get some of those great user stories. Uh, this morning we had uh, the state of Colorado on talking about how they were recovering from ransomware. Right, right, uh, We right. had American Pacific Mortgage on talking about just the scale. You talk about the growing data and how, you know, using Commvault, they're able to manage that much better. Any other specific examples of kind of interesting use cases or good customer uh, stories? You yeah, I think we you know, recently had uh, a, a very large customer that was looking to consolidate their environment. It's a classic case of I've got offices spread around the world um, and they had a number of different point solutions, right? So it's a, you know, without naming names, I've got different protection solutions in different areas, I've got different administrators, I've got different policies, um, and uh, you know, they, hit, they hit a scenario where the, they were exposed from a risk perspective that, that that particular set of data was not covered as they thought it was because they didn't have standardization of, and po of policies, uh, or standardized policies, I should say, around how they manage access and, and the retention of that data. Um, and so that, Sometimes there's that forcing event that, you know, that says, okay, uh, we have a problem here, we need to do something about this. Right, so uh, in their case, they were able to you know, consolidate from multiple, scenario, multiple solutions um, down to Commvault where they could have a you know, predefined set of policies in place around the data, not only for what they were gathering in, so as they, as they ingested it or as they moved data into, uh, under Commvault's management, um, you know, they were able to automatically assign policies to that, uh, but then, uh, in their case, they were also acquiring other companies. Uh, so, uh, and they were, they were acquiring a rather large European entity, and when they, were bringing, when they were bringing that organization in, they wanted to make sure that they did so in a way that didn't expose them to risk again in the future, because they, it's like, if we're going to grow as a business uh, with an acquisition strategy, we've got to be able to make sure that what comes into the organization is consistent. So, big partner presence here. The, Commvault has been pretty direct and forward talking about how you're shifting from a direct sales model and having going through partners to help provide the solutions to these challenges. Talk through how do you enable partners or how do you encourage partners? This is a crowded market. There's a lot of investment in the area of data protection. How do you rise to the top of the partner list and uh, for partners putting your solution in front of customers. Right, there's two, th two ways we do that, right? So, uh, the, the because you're absolutely right, uh, you know, partners are key to our growth and we can be key to their growth and success. I mean, no doubt about it. So, um, you know, the first thing is give them something that's going to really make them successful. So instead of, if I'm a partner, I don't want to come in with, I, I want the flexibility to be able to address a wider variety of demands. I want to be able to go in, uh, you know, to a potential, pr to a prospect, and say, yeah, I can address this, but also, I have the software behind the scenes, Commvault, to be able to attack multiple other scenarios for you. Oh, and by the way, it's all in one, and you've got you've got one one set of so, one solution to be able to uh, to address all that. So, um, one of the, one of the key ways that we differentiate, and you're right, in a very crowded market, right? Um, it says, you know, you should really have Commvault in the back of your mind, at the top of your list. If you're going in uh, and seeing scenarios where a point solution simply doesn't do it, or it po paints you into a corner where you're not going to be able to help them grow down the future. Because the other thing partners obviously want, as every business wants, is repeat business. I want to be able to go back in and expand, I want to, you know, and, and build my footprint out, and if I, if I can go in with a partner that enables me to do that, then I've got long-term opportunity versus just going in, hey, I made a quick sale and I'm out and uh, you know, good luck to you, right? All right, Lance, last thing I want to ask you, last year, 
GDPR was the, you know, the talk of every single Yeah, I seem, show to, have, I seem to have heard like about that, this. yeah. Um, we got a good education. <laughs> uh, my boss actually read through the entire specs. Uh, I read the Cliff Notes version. Okay. Um, yeah. and, and, and talked to a lot of smart people about it. Um, California's looking at some new legislation, but what's the latest on that? It seems like, you know, I mean, some of the lawsuits are already happening against some of the biggest companies in Europe, uh, you know, from a technology standpoint, but what are you hearing and how does Commvault help customers uh, understand kind of today and future legislation? Yeah, I think, you know, what's interesting, we, we, when we looked at, you know, everybody was kind of marching up to the GDPR date as if it was Y2K all over again, right? right. And uh, not that I remember that, of course, I was too young for that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it was like, oh, May 25th, May 25th, the, you know, the sky's going to fall. And we all knew that, hey, listen, uh, at, at, that day's going to come and go, and, and you know somebody's going to be made an example of at some point, right? And sure enough, that's starting to happen. Um, and and you know it's a it's a it's a good thing. It's building the awareness that you know we we tried to educate people, we tried to get the word out. You know, you, it, it happens longer than way, way past May 25th. It's still going on, right? So for for uh, a lot of a lot of customers that we're talking to, they're looking to uh, they've had a plan in place. Maybe they're moving there gradually. It wasn't you know, right away, but I think sometimes when you see those things in the press about there's actually being a fine, it's, it's actually real, and it brings it to life, like, ah, we should really do something here, right? Um, so that, I think, honestly, that's a process that's going to continue for years. Um, you know, I, I've heard everything from, we'll just pay the fine, which you know, is a risky strategy, uh, both probably, you know, on a personal level as well as professional, <laughs> like but you wouldn't want to bet your career on that strategy. Um, and uh, but you know, you're, um, with the advent of, we also always knew that hey, GDPR is one of these uh, set, set of regulations. There will be others. There are others, and you have to be able to adhere to those, no matter where you where you live on the earth. Um, so you know, long story short, I think you know it's a continuing evolution. We help customers understand their data. So. Um, you know, through our Commvault Activate product, we can do it even if you don't, even if you're not using Commvault for backup and recovery, you're actually able to go out and scan your environment and get a better understanding of what personal information you've got under, under, uh, under lock and key, what you've got in your environment, and be able to ascertain, well, okay, now where's my, where, where's my risk? Where am I exposed? And then I can start to put a plan in place to, to mitigate that. So uh, I think it'll be going on for quite some time in terms of, uh, especially as new laws like the California law. I always forget what that's. I always forget the uh, the, the letters and numbers associated with it. But uh, it's the same idea around personal privacy. And I think you know, with the uh, with uh, in, you know, we've had the Patriot Act for a long time, right? Where foreign governments are concerned about data sovereignty and where data lives, and that's going to continue to increase for you know, for a variety of reasons. Uh, so organizations have to really know where their data is and what's encapsulated within that data. And, uh, and that's where the Commvault data platform, the index, actually shines and does very well to uncover that information. All right, well Lance Shaw, I really appreciate you sharing with us where your customers are in a lot of these really important issues. For Keith Townsend, I'm Stu Miniman. We'll be back with more coverage here from Commvault Go in Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks for watching theCUBE.